hello, hello, crafty friends. I am so excited to be back with you for my major, major Dollar Tree haul part two. So when I did my first haul, and I'll link it down below, I had just kind of shopped with what they had out, but that was before Valentine's Day. So I knew that there was a lot more shopping to be done, so I went out and I grabbed everything I could that I thought that I could use to craft with, and guys, it's major. Lots of new things, and I'm gonna share my top three items that I bought from the Dollar Tree for the very last. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. So this is going to be a long one. I went a little crazy, but who can't when they have all this great stuff for just a dollar each. Am I right? So grab a notebook and a pen and make a list of everything you're going to need the next time you go to the Dollar Tree. Also, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a lot of content coming up and I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Also, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me to grow my channel. Then hop on over to Facebook and Instagram and give me a like and follow there and join my crafting community. Sometimes I do live crafts on Facebook and we have a ton of fun. It's a great bunch of women and I'd love for you to be a part of it. All right, let's jump right in. For I don't even know where to begin. So I thought that I would get some baskets because I think I have an idea on how I'm gonna use these. So I just picked up some little wicker baskets and plus you can always use them for gifts, of course, and giving Easter, Easter uh, presents too. But I just picked up a couple different uh, colors. They do these ones have ribbon on the outside so these are really really cute I got yellow pink green and then I got this plastic woven basket and I think it's really really pretty and like I said I think I already have an idea that I'm gonna do for that so I'm super excited next let's talk about eggs so I got these little peep eggs and not because of the egg factor but I mean these could really be made into some really cute little decor pieces so I am super excited to jump right into these I also got them in carrots as well because like I said I think that these could be made into something super cute so definitely that's why you need to subscribe because you got to see what I end up doing with all of this stuff all right ribbons in my first haul, I went through and showed you a bunch of ribbons. Then I went and they had these. Look how cute that is. And then they have purple. This might have been in the first haul, I don't remember. Honestly, I have so much I don't remember anymore. And then this is like that teal burlap ribbon. And I absolutely love that. And then they had this plaid ribbon. And I just think this is adorable. And I think that's all the ribbons I got. Oh, I got two of these. Super, super cute can't wait okay so then I grabbed this little basket I think I have an idea what I'm gonna do but it has three little styrofoam eggs and it's just tinsel um, so I think I know what I'm gonna definitely do with this too it's super cute they had these last year as well then I got these little crayons um, that I think I'm gonna make into something and then I also got little erasers too okay because I feel like I don't know I feel like I can do something with these I mean, of course, I bought them, so I'm going to make them over. <laughs> and I'm going to try. Then I got some egg filler, and I thought these were super, super cute. I just love these colors. These are the colors I go with when I decorate my house for spring. The pale pinks, the yellow, the pale blue, the purple. I absolutely love those colors. Then I got some styrofoam eggs. Thought those would be perfect to decorate or to paint or make some fun uh, home decor pieces with. And then, whoops, I almost gave up one of my favorite things. Then my absolute favorite florals. I got them in purple the last time, and that was in my haul. And then I found them in these colors as well. I call them frosted um, greenery bouquet because it does look frosted. I don't know if you can tell, but I think these are gorgeous, and I cannot wait. I already used them in one of these crafts. FYI. All these I just made and the videos were just out so you're gonna want to check those out I'll also have those linked at the end then I went ahead and got this wisteria branch I just thought this was really really different and really pretty and um, I don't know I just I just love the colors okay next I got this garland you could either use it as a garland you could take the eggs off of it really lots of different options here but it's just a basic styrofoam egg garland so I thought that was super cute 
then I got the carrot garland. You saw in my other uh, video that I had the packs of twine carrots, which I used in this craft right here. But then I thought, hey, I'm going to get these because, hey, you can use it as a garland. I actually got four of these. And then I'm probably going to go back and get more because that craft kind of took some of my carrots. So I might even go back and get more. I'm not even sure, but you can't have too many carrots, right? So these are perfect and they're just twine carrots on a, on a uh, piece of twine there. So perfect. Okay, then I got some styrofoam eggs. These are perfect to decorate with too. I actually did a really cute craft last year and I painted these and they came out so fun. Then I got a ton of these stand-up signs. These stand-up signs are perfect, are perfect for crafting. Okay, so you could use them just like this and decorate the front or you can decorate the inside. I get these anytime I see them because I am using them so, so much. Okay, lots of fun stuff there. Okay, so then I got this garden chain. I think I know, now I opened this, um, but I think I know what I'm going to do with this as well. But I just thought that this was so cute and it can make some really neat, um, even not even spring or seasonal home decor, but just all year round home decor. And I think that this is really cute for summer as well. So that's really neat. Okay, let's see. Then I got, oh, these were new. I've never seen these. These are paper stickers, and they have flowers here, and then they have butterflies. And I just love these. They were in the crafter square, like where the stencils and the stickers were. But look how pretty these were. And actually, I kind of thought of these more for summer, um, but I just thought that these were gorgeous. And then, I, of course, I love butterflies. I love butterflies. My mom used to always call me a little social butterfly. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. All right, next I got this pack of, it's a, it's actually a pom-pom kit, and it's six kits, and, but actually, I get them for all the little white puffballs. Sometimes white puffballs are hard to find at the Dollar Tree, so if you see this, snatch it up. It's actually a pom-pom kit, and you're supposed to make a bunny out of it, but like I said, I grab them for the puffballs, and there's all different sizes, because of course, if you're making bunnies, they need to have little tails, so these are perfect for that. Next, I grabbed my favorite, favorite brushes. These aren't spring or anything, but I thought I'd show you um, my favorite brushes. I'm always using these foam brushes. So I always, every time I see them, grab a bunch. Okay, so let's keep moving on. I just got more of these signs, like I said. Every single time I see them, I grab them. All right, next, this is not new. This came out last year, but I got this bunny garland. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. But this is just cute to hang up, like, in a kid's room or on your fireplace. I think this is adorable, and they have the little uh, little poof balls, of course, the little bunny butts. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to show you these signs. How neat are these signs? And they are, they're glass. They're glass. How amazing. I got two of these. Because again, you could either use them on the inside or you could use them like that. I don't know for sure, but I feel like acetone might take that off or you just paint it. I mean, it's perfect. But how neat are these? I absolutely love those. Cannot wait to make stuff with that. Then I also got this sign right here. I'm loving these vines. See, I used it kind of right there. And then the, here's one right here, if you can see. Um, but I'm using, I'm loving these vines. So I could even like paint over this and put something in the middle. I am so super excited for this. I just love that. I love that how it is, honestly. Okay, look how cute for a dollar. Guys, how stinking cute is this? What I've been seeing on a lot of Facebook pages, um, like Dollar Tree sites, are people are dressing these little bunnies. And they are so cute. So like, they'll put like a hat or like a little skirt or a bow tie or a tie or a vest. Oh my gosh, how adorable are these? Or a lot of people with crickets are monogram monogramming these as well or stitching names on these. So you could buy these, personalize them, and sell them or give them away as gifts. But these are so cute. I just bought one and they're so soft I just bought one because it's cute and I'm just gonna put it out <laughs> love it or you could put I might even put like a, a twine um, carrot in his hand or something I don't know it's just so cute okay next we got these treat bags these were not new they, they have these last year but I mean hi how stinking cute are these these are burlap and they're they're called treat sacks and you get four 
there's four in there and they're just so cute and look the tops of them make little ears once you tie them up so those are super super cute oh, I'm just obsessing over everything I got okay then I got this little um uh tinsel egg thing and of course not to use as is but to take off all the tinsel and to deck and to decorate the front but also another thing that is really popular right now are like drive-by parades or drive-by um uh, like birthday parties or things if you do any kind of drive-by Easter events maybe in your cities or something these are great to decorate your car in my actual main job I actually have characters and last year I offered an Easter Bunny and I went and I bought a ton of these to decorate my car and then we just drove around with the Easter Bunny and just made little visits just he, he was just waving from the car and it was super fun especially because that's the only time any of the children last year got to see the Easter Bunny the malls were closed and this is when everything was shut down so nobody got to see the Easter Bunny last year so I thought that this was a really fun idea or if you just want to decorate your car just to spread some joy these would be great too okay let's talk about fabrics so I like to make things I like to buy fabric so that way I can make it so I got this really cute scarf okay now it is a little hot pink and then I also got this but I thought these were really cute spring colors so I just thought I don't know maybe I can make something out of these I just picked them up because or you know you can always have the fabric on hand then they also have these craft fabric squares I got this yellow polka dot I think that I thought that was so adorable for spring then I also got this too I thought that was super super cute so I cannot wait to incorporate these then they also have their felts so I got white felt they have all colors I just picked up white and then they had this white I don't know if you can tell but it's like a white um I don't even know what they are but they kind of reminded me of bunny ears so I picked them up I think I know what I'm gonna do with these and then my store started selling shirts. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a shirt too because I could make this into something. <laughs> now this is a small one. It's like for a child, but hey, why not? I'm going to see what I can do with that. I think that's super cute. All right. So next up. I got these stickers huge thing on uh, YouTube right now are getting these stickers putting them on uh, like a vase or something like that and painting over it and then you have a high-end piece so if you see these pick these up because we're gonna be I'm gonna incorporate these plus you can find a ton of YouTube videos that make really high-end amazing pieces with these so they are 3d and they come mm, I'm trying to show all their 3d Okay. Anyway, and they come in all kinds of different sizes and colors. These are in the crafter square section and uh, they are right where like all the stickers and stencils are. So pick these up for sure. Okay. I, I have something else over here, but I'm saving it to the end. Then I got these two little canvases. I absolutely love these. These are um, four by six and I love these because again, you could do reverse canvas or you could just paint something on the front. And I, I just love these. These are great for tiered trays, and you all know I love me a good tiered tray. So definitely watch for videos of tiered tray stuff because it's coming, and I'm chomping at the bit to uh, style and decorate my tiered tray and make some DIYs. So, yeah, these are always great to have. You can, And they, of course, come in different size in, sizes, and I've made a lot of different things. So definitely pick up some canvases. All right, guys, I think I, we're coming down to almost my favorite things. This... But look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, my store finally had these. I have to tell you, I went to my store and they had two huge cartfuls. Like, I'm not talking about like shopping cart. I'm talking about like the big carts, you know, that they have all the boxes on, full of boxes. So I kind of went over and was kind of sneaking around to look and they had these in the boxes and I was so excited. They, I asked them if we could open the boxes and this worker, bless her heart, let her go through all, let me go through all the boxes and see what she wanted me to open. And so I kind of got first dibs. So I was so excited. Don't hesitate to ask guys, seriously, because look how cute these are. This says happy Easter. It's a little chocolate bunny. And then this says Easter. Oh, it does say happy Easter. Look how cute, but they're gnomes. They are bunny gnomes. How adorable. These don't even need any anything done to them they are perfect just how they are they're just so cute if you have someone who lo is, is loving gnomes those that's the perfect gift to give them 
Then I got some little yard stakes here. Now they had a bunch of different colors, but I'm going to be redoing these, so I didn't really care what mine looked like. But how cute are these? And you can also pluck them right off the stake itself and use the egg to decorate with. So I thought that this was really super cute. So yeah, so definitely pick you up some of those because you never know when you're going to need them. Okay, next. We got unfinished wood. I got these, and then in my first haul, I think I got the bunnies. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I got some unfinished wood. I just got one because I got a ton of eggs in that first haul. So I just picked up one. Then I got this sign, and then after I checked out, I realized that it was missing this piece from up here. There's supposed to be one right here because here's the glue. That's okay because you know me. I'm just going to redo it anyways. But I thought that that was a great shape. I love this right here. So I'm definitely going to craft something with that. I think that's adorable. Okay, then another great thing that I got, and this actually, I'm going to count this as one of my favorites. Look at this doormat. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. You can't really tell, but it says Easter egg hunt easter egg hunt and it is so cute and then this says country rabbit candy co oh my gosh this is just so adorable now they did have a bunch of different styles but i'm into the truck so i definitely had to pick up the truck but how adorable are these for a dollar guys and it does it feels like it has the non-slip on the back but what a lot of people have been doing are taking two of the regular black ones making them into buffalo check and then putting these on top if you look up glue gun and roses Megan over there has a really great tutorial on how to do this and then she just adds these Dollar Tree ones on top so that's a really great idea but I just love this how it is and I cannot wait to put it out for Easter this year all right are you ready for my top three favorite spring items. I don't think you're ready. Are you sure you're ready? All right. I'm going to save my, oh wait, I forgot. Look at this. Look how cute. Look how cute this is. This is just a hard egg and I got an A for my daughter Amelia and I just thought this was so cute. I'm just going to put it on my tiered tray or something just for her because, you know, why not? Because it's cute. Um, okay. So now time, oh, I guess it's going to be my top four favorite items. All right. So item number one this isn't necessarily spring but when I saw these I squealed a little look at this it says welcome and it's a gold ring hello you could easily pluck this off and then use this and it does have a sawtooth hanger so you can hang it but hello I picked up a bunch oh my gosh how perfect are these I mean I don't even know what to say Reads front door hangers. I mean, these are just a um, crafter's dream. They are just so amazing. You could spray paint these and make them a different color if you don't like gold, but how amazing are these? I am so excited to use this to craft. Oh, I am just so excited. All right. Then my number three top favorite. Look at these little candy jars. I think I like the egg better, but look how cute those are. And to be quite honest, that's why I got these fillers because I thought that these would be cute to put in here, but I didn't want to give away what I was doing. But look how cute. Look how cute. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know if they're actual, actually functional. They might be, but look how adorable. We have a bunny and an egg, but like I said, I think the I think the bunny or the egg is my favorite. You can personalize these and then add some jelly beans or M&Ms or something small, well, gumballs or gumball machines, um, <laughs> inside and give these away on Easter. I think these are adorable and would make the most perfect gift for your little ones, honestly. So cute. Nieces, nephews, things like that. Okay. Favorite item number two, the moss bunnies. Look how cute these are. I am obsessed with these. They're three to a pack. I, of course, got two, but look how adorable. These moss bunnies are going to be so fun to craft and display. Hello, tear tray. It's just, it's just calling for a tear tray, right? So I cannot wait, wait to use these. So definitely pick you up some moss bunnies because they are adorable. Okay, guys. This was another one where there is a whole box full and I asked the, I batted my eyes and asked her nicely if we could please open the box. I was so excited. I squealed. Look how cute these are. Oh my God. I love these how they are. I'm probably going to display this one how it actually is. Like on a shelf. I mean, how amazing are these? But you guys, <clears throat> 
in the pictures they look really big and i'm like oh what am i gonna do with that they're cute they're not that big they're like the size of an actual cutting board and so for that i am so excited but they are very great quality very great so this piece right here i believe pops off i haven't really studied it because i was just too excited and i was like i am not ripping one of these apart just yet but how cute this one is cottontail and co easter or egg farm oh my god look i mean just look at it. and then this one is fresh carrots oh i just love these how they are they are absolute perfection for a dollar but of course you know me I had to buy a bunch of them because this is something that you can use and craft all year long you can make these into regular generic home decor farmhouse rustic whatever your style is and then you can make things you can make these into seasonal decor Christmas Valentine's Day summer winter I mean it's just perfect Thanksgiving these would be perfect for Thanksgiving and just you know and then you can give it with something it is these are just amazing I mean these are my absolute favorite out of both my haul videos these win the prize I absolutely love these so like I said if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up comment below and let me know what are some things on your shopping list what are you gonna look out for definitely here are some tips and I made the I made these tips in the first one if you see something you like buy a bunch of them because you never know when they're going to be gone. That's why I picked up eight of these and I'm kind of half tempted to order some online too because they are amazing. Now another tip is, is you want to get there early. So I happen to get there right when they were unloading all this stuff. And this kind of goes with, this is tip number three, but kind of goes along with it. Don't be afraid to ask to open boxes. Hi guys. That's how I ended up with all of these because I asked, I asked them, they have pictures on the boxes of what's inside the boxes. So I knew that these were sitting in there. And so I asked the, the employee if we could open the boxes. So don't be afraid to ask, just explain that you're a crafter and that you love to remake things over and you had been eyeing these and you really wanted some. It's totally fine. They have to put them out anyways and sell them. So it's fine. Don't be afraid to ask. So those are my tips for you. Number one, grab a bunch of whatever you see, whatever you love. Number two, go early. Like after Valentine's Day, you want to go right when they're putting out Easter and spring. Right after Easter, you're going to want to go to get your summer and probably before. And before summer ends, definitely your fall stuff and probably Halloween and Christmas too. You just have to go right when the sea, well, before the seasons change basically. And then number three, don't be afraid to ask. Please, they wanna help you, they, they are there to help you and they get just as excited. When me and this employee were going through these boxes, she had never seen these before and she was falling in love with them as well. So we had a really great bonding moment <laughs> shopping uh, for all this stuff. So those are my tips for you. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell so you are notified anytime I upload a new video. Then please join me on Facebook and Instagram so you can see some behind the scenes content and do some live crafting. All right, friends, until we meet again, I will craft or haul with you all soon. Bye.